Uh, we have some special guests joining us tonight. 97.1 Free FM is broadcasting from our newsroom right now. And we're joined by the team of Conway and Whitman, Tim yeah. Conway Jr. Yeah. and Brian Whitman. You hear them already. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look at that. Pat Harvey, man. <laughs> hey, listen. We're just want, we're wondering if your listeners were calling in about Joe Torre coming to, uh, you know, manage the Dodgers. Well, yeah, Joe Torre, uh, Adam Carolla, by the way, joins us as well. Uh, and Joe Torre, it's sort of like a, a love-hate because everyone out here hates the Yankees, but you love a winner like uh, Joe Torre. Right. And now he's uh, coming out, so the Yankee fans are going to be uh, very happy and also the, uh, the Dodger fans. But I know the guy that really didn't do much in the National League ever, so. Well, you know, Pat and Harold, I'm a transplant. I call Southern California home, but I grew up going to the Bronx and watching Yankee games, so I'm a Yankee fan. And I saw one interesting article in the LA Times. I forget Adam and uh, Tim who wrote the article, but it, the speculation was that Joe Torre could, in essence, whether it's the Dodgers or any other team, ruin his career, ruin oh. this 12 years of luster and how great he is if he should go to another team and maybe it doesn't work out so well. I'm a pre-op transplant and my <laughs> opinion is that, uh, well, he couldn't, Torrey couldn't hurt. It's not like the Dodgers have been uh, burning up the league over the last few years. Well, but yeah, hey, hurt. Adam, wait a minute, hmm. guys. Wait a minute. Hmm. Look at Phil Jackson. I'm sorry. When, you know, you give him Michael Jordan and all of those guys. He wins championships. Right. You give him, you know, Shaq and Kobe when they were teammates and look since then nothing's happening I mean if you don't surround with Joe Torre with some hitters that can get the ball out of that ballpark I mean what, what do you think he's gonna do well I'm just proud to be one of the losers that has to stand in that white box and smoke a cigarette at Dodger Stadium <laughs> oh really yeah they have the smoking dugout they, they have a little white line I guess that's to protect the people who don't smoke from the smokers people who are uh, be in the box on deck for cancer in the hole <laughs> oh, <Adam. laughs> cancer hole yeah, yeah. Well, well you I'm, know what's gonna I'm saving up my mileage. Uh, Marlboro, after a million miles, they give you a lung transplant. Oh, so. that's nice. Oh, hey, hey to, guys, yeah. what, what are, collectively, what, what are your callers dealing with these days? Issues like illegal immigration, uh, the mayor's latest Trieste. Well, what, what's manic, going on? De manic depression, bipolar disorder. <laughs> and, yeah, and as Adam said, the surprise that the bounty hunter is uh, using uh, foul language. Who would have guessed? I was flabbergasted and caught <laughs> off guard. <laughs> when I heard that a celebrity dropped an N-bomb, I said, uh, who was it, Tony Rand? Randall. <laughs> who, Tony who, Randall. Who oh, Come on, he, Adam. Oh, I know he's passed away, but before he went, he, he swore up a blue streak. <laughs> it was out of control. Hey, you better hope famous you don't have for, any warrants. Famous for his racial diatribes. Yeah. Yeah. But the bounty hunter, please. Yeah. Who does he think he is? I mean, it's Kramer, and then we have uh, the Imus thing, which I don't think you can compare those. But uh, Dwayne Dog Chapman, could his career be over? Or Pat and Harold, do you think everybody gets a second chance? Well, well he know. was very very contrite. He has apologized profusively. Yeah. And right? remember, guys, if you have oh, any profusely. warrants out, he's going to come after you. <laughs> show or no show. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Continued good luck. Uh, they are terrific on the radio, and we invite you to tune them in at 97.1. And they'll be back, so don't go away. <laughs> well, she is the new face of.